Here are the Premiere Pro CC 2020 updates for the Essential Graphics panel. What you can do right within Premiere Pro is pretty simple, but maybe exciting for some people. So the first is underlining. So if you have text, there's now going to be the underline style, which wasn't available before. Simple as that. And the next is renaming your shape layers up here. You can double click a layer. I've given this rectangle the name of Bill, and here we got Bob. So pretty exciting stuff if you are super into organizing and you want to name your layers, which actually will be super handy. The other major change is more if you use Premiere Pro templates or if you're into After Effects and you create your own motion graphic templates, you can see that now the text um, templates can actually have bulleted lists or multiple lines in a graphic, which is pretty cool. I was actually just trying to do this the other day, so I'm happy they added this. And then drop down menus. Before there was only sliders where you can slide between different fonts or even shape si sizes or different things like that. Um, but now there's drop down menus for all of that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. So nothing spectacular, but over the past few years, Premiere has really built out the essential graphics panel and you can do pretty much everything we wanted it to do when it first came out. And it didn't have a lot of these settings or options. So I'm super excited about that. So anyways, I just wanted to update you on the new stuff in the graphics panel if you were wondering if there were any updates. Cheers. Have a great day.